Hello and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. So today I'm going to be uh, doing this quest right here, the most fantastic tournament you've never heard of. And it's quite close by, so let's start. Welcome contestants to the Nilutpala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament. I am Kautilia, a senior Amorta researcher and the organizer of today's tournament. I'm sure you're probably all very intrigued by the idea of fighting fungi and excited at the prospect of our amazing prizes. But at the same time, you may well have some concerns about the safety of this tournament. Mm -hmm. Worry not, the wisdom orb we've developed exclusively for this event makes use of Amorta's most advanced intellectual boost technology. It is absolutely reliable and safe. So please cast your reservations aside and enter the tournament with confidence. Okay. Also, it gives me great pleasure to announce that this event is sponsored by Mr. Elhingen, a renowned businessman from Fontaine who has generously provided a grand total of 60 million mora for our prize fund. Oh, wow. I'm sure Paimon's going to like that. And if anyone is able to prove themselves capable of carrying out Mr. Elhingen's philosophy by passing the ultimate trial, he will be willing to give them his entire fortune. The only other condition is that the winner must agree to carry on Mr. Elhingen's legacy by hosting the Nilutpala Cup Beast Tamers tournament in the future. Whoa! Paimon can't believe that rich guy threw 60 million mora at this event! Just like that! And what was all that about inheriting his entire fortune if you promised to keep his beast taming tournament going? Mm, sounds like a scam to me. Also, hosted by an academia scholar, huh? <sighs> Pretty official. Uh, might be a little inappropriate if we just barged in and tried to shut it down. So, um... Why don't we enter the tournament and see if this wisdom orb thingy actually works? Paimon, you just want the prize money, don't you? Uh, no, that's not it! <laughs> it's just, uh, now that everything in Sumeru has finally settled down, don't you think it'd be a little unfair to Nahida if we keep picking trouble with the academia? And he sounded really confident. Paimon's curious about how this mysterious fungi taming device works. And what if it works really well? What will you do to the fungi? Although they've caused this trouble in the past, the fungi aren't just aggressive monsters, right? They're more like wild animals with bad tempers. Since there's no longer any safety concerns, we don't need to worry. Maybe we can even try becoming friends with the fungi. Paimon thinks that would be fun. Besides, if we do well in the tournament, we'll be able to earn some extra mora. There are basically no drawbacks. All right, let's see what all the fuss is about then. But we should stay cautious just in case. Yep, that's the way we roll. Looks like we sign up over there. Come on, let's grab a wisdom orb and enter the tournament. Sounds like a plan. Looks like the people ahead of us are still signing up. Let's wait our turn. Hmm. Golden Comet and Silver Companion. So, you're competing too? An interesting nickname. Huh? You know us? But what's with those names? We've never heard them before. You're a tough duo if the posters are to be believed. Some mercenaries who managed to escape from you painted your portraits, warning others to avoid messing with you at all costs. Uh, huh. Paimon doesn't know whether to be flattered or to try and explain that we aren't as scary as the rumors suggest. Unfortunately, the rules of this tournament state the beast tamers aren't allowed to use their weapons, or even fight each other directly. Your impeccable combat skills won't be any use to you here. The tournament is about capturing fungi, training them, and commanding them in combat. There's no way of knowing whether commanding fungi is a skill you'll be able to master in time. That's true. We've never captured a fungus before and wouldn't know anything about how to get them to fight. Wait a second! You don't look like a staff member! What are you lecturing us for? Who are you anyway? A competitor. The name's Ania. I used to work for the Aramites, taming grumpy sumpter beasts. Ended up with a reputation for being a beast tamer, so they got me involved with testing the wisdom orb early on. Anyway, my name ain't worth remembering. 
I'm just an illiterate nobody. All I'm good for is doing odd jobs for Aramite Mercs. Just think of me as another contestant. <laughs> I do have a lot of experience taming beasts, though. Want me to teach you? You want to team up with us? Or you want to size us up? No, I'll select the top option. You guys are worth me getting to know. As allies or opponents. Because either way, you can get rid of some obstacles for me in this competition. Of course, I prefer allies if possible. Well, that was blunt, but also quite honest. It's hmm. definitely better to have an expert teach us than figure everything out on our own, right? Well, what do you think? Should we take her up on her offer? All right, then. Take this wisdom orb and let's go catch some fungi at the designated area. She gets right to the point, doesn't she? <laughs> Okay, so where did they want us to go specifically? You follow Hania to the designated fun the fungi catching zone. This is where you'll capture your fungi. The fungi in this area are highly compatible with the wisdom orb, and they're ideal for training and competing with. Hmm. The wisdom orb can capture and store fungi. It also serves as a controller. I recommend giving each fungus a code name to make commanding them easier. For example, this one next to me is Pyro 1, which means Pyrofungus number 1. Uh-huh. You just go out their elements and then number them? Hmm. Seems kind of boring to pine mine. Uh, this fungus looks pretty lively. Why don't we call it Bouncy Happy Shroom? Pine mine is the best at coming up with names. Yeah. Uh, thanks, but uh, no thanks. I've got my own way of naming them, and I'm gonna stick with it. It's simple, straightforward. It helps me with managing them. <laughs> yeah, you're probably used to calling it Pyro One anyway. All right, we'll stop. But wait until you hear the great names we come up with for our fungi. You might want to reconsider then. <laughs> okay. So this ought to be interesting. I imagine I have to equip that gadget. Okay, Wisdom Orb. And now to catch whatever fungi they want me to catch. Uh, it's saying all the way over there. Okay. Well then. Uh, what I need to do is try to capture this guy without being seen. Darn it. There we go. Uh, capture stretchy electrofungus, it said, and I did that. And now there's that guy. Darn it. No, don't run from me. I, I don't think I can sneak, so I just gotta, yeah, do it like that. Okay, so there's this one, and they only give you uh, options by Paimon, right? So, let's read the uh, description for this. Hmm, how about L Drill? If only its cap could be stiffer. This one is Tingle Shroom. That cap looks so familiar. Paimon knows. Let's call it Tingle Shroom. And then the final one is, this fungi reminds Paimon of some strong hilly churls who can also wield the power of Electro. Paimon's gonna name it Storm Lord. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's go with that. Uh, oh wow, these names are interesting. All of them are Bongo Head. Paimon remembers an idea she had from before. Let's call this one Bongo Head. Bing bong, bing bong. Oh, how does Bongo Head sound? Hmm, no matter how Paimon thinks about this, Bongo Head seems to be the right name for it. Let's go with that then. Not much of an option there. <laughs> Paimon's a fungi naming expert. Every one of these will sound really cool when you call them out in the arena. The names you came up with for the second fungi, uh, fungus, all three suggestions were the same. The round hat on this little guy's head kind of looks like a drum, don't you think? The first thing that came to Paimon's mind when she saw it was, if you hit it on the head, it's definitely going to go bing bong. Hmm. How does the name Bongo Head sound? Uh, it sounds lovely, I guess. Hmm, I think bing bong is optimistic. Probably more like Squelch. But look how happy it looks! That means it likes the name! Okay then, Bongo Head it is! <laughs> Aww, Bongo Head's just the 
like a little puppy. Paimon's never seen this side of a fungus before. From now on, we need to look out for each other, Bongo Head. Okay, let's go catch some more fungi and make a team for Bongo Head. Sure. I guess Bongo Head is the team leader. So they want us to go where? That way? Oh, wow. Quite a ways away. And the next spot is right down there. Uh, I think I can probably capture them from up here. Maybe I can only use it in the area. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, my bad aim. Once again, messing me up. Darn it. Although, I can't completely blame it on my aim because it's hard to tell how far away... Uh, or how close they have to be, rather. Ah, uh, great. Okay, that one should have hit it. I'm sorry. It's just running back and forward. You know what? I'm gonna just hold the... Never mind. I finally caught it. Okay, so this... These are all interesting names again. That must be a strong waist to withstand such a large upper body. Let's go with stout waist. The second one is... Even this heavy head can't hurt its speed. The name Hard Hat suits it well. And then finally, the way it moves makes Crasher Basher a perfect name for it, don't you think? Yeah, sure, I like that. Uh, the first one here is Pickending. I have no idea how to say that. Uh, it's full of spikes. It's probably going to make some loud noises if it touches anything. Why don't we call it Pickending? Uh, cool. uh, Paimon's all sweaty now after following it this far. Let's call it Cool Shroom. Or, Paimon heard, uh, Paimon's heard that names can be warnings as well. Maybe we can go with Cool It? Hmm. I think I'll go with Cool It. Great. You've now collected all four fungi. The next step is to use the floral jelly provided by the organizers to boost your fungi's abilities. That way, they'll be able to unleash powerful skills during combat. Hmm. Paimon can't believe we're making progress so quickly! It's all thanks to your help, Hania. Hmm. Alright, let's all return to the arena now. Okay. Huh? Look, someone's staggering along with a fungus running circles around her. Uh, is she being attacked? Oh, th she's that new character. She's collapsed! Let's go see what's happening. Layla, I think her name is? I believe I got a copy of her, uh, and then I kind of uh, forgot about it. I can't go on uh, too weak. Are you hurt? How bad is it? Hmm. Watch out! Pyro One, take it out! Uh, maybe that's her own fungi fungus? Or... Wait, it's not an enemy. It's my shroom buddy. Yeah. I'm just... Just a little too tired to walk right now, but I still need to find three more shroom buddies to qualify for the tournament. Hmm. Shroom buddies? You mean, you're a contestant too? I wasn't counting on running into other contestants here. Maybe this is the end of the road for me. Twirly Whirly on its own is no match for you. Look after Chorley Whirly for me. Take him with you to the top. Hey, don't give uh, up. It's not like we're a bunch of Aramites trying to steal your fungi. I, I, uh, your shroom buddies. We're better than that. You should at least hang in there until we're in the arena so we can compete against each other properly. Hania over here is a professional beast tamer, and despite knowing that we might be her fiercest competitors, she still gave us lots of help and advice. Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> uh, take it as a compliment. Paimon's really getting into this. State your name and mission! Golden Kana and Silver Companion shall gladly come to your aid! R really? Then, could you... Please help me collect the rest of the four shroom buddies I need. Uh, does this mean my luck is finally starting to change? She only needs three more, right? Um, uh, my name is Layla. I'm just a student in the Ritawa's Darshan, so I don't have any impressive titles or anything. 
And my goal is to, uh, uh, to make it into the quarterfinals. If I can make it to the quarterfinals, I'll get to take my shroom buddies home and delegate some of my physical labor to them. Uh, uh of course, I'll take good care of them, too. Hmm. Oh, yeah! Paimon read that in the rules somewhere. All quarterfinalists get to take home any fungi of their choice. But, what do you mean, physical labor? You're a student. Shouldn't you be busy with coursework and writing papers? Uh, this is pretty embarrassing, but, uh, uh, so I must have some sort of congenital sleep disorder or something, because I can never seem to get enough sleep. And I'm always really low on energy. Even the smallest amount of exercise makes me... <sighs> Well, you saw me just now. I get so tired, I collapse from exhaustion. So when I said physical labor, I just meant basic stuff like moving books around or fetching things I need from the store. Ah, uh, you don't need to be embarrassed about that. It's totally normal. Paimon delegates chores to him all the time. <laughs> First she calls them buddies. Then she talks about wanting to live with them? Ridiculous. She sounds just like Elhingen. I wonder what Honey is it's so annoyed about. Well, looks like you've mastered everything already and moved on to helping others. I'm delighted for you. I'll see you around. Good luck. Okay. <gasps> Why is Ania leaving all of a sudden? We haven't thanked you or Pyro won yet, Ania! Let's at least go get something to eat together! What's wrong? That beast tamer, is she angry? Uh... Hmm. Probably not. She's pretty blunt and doesn't make a great first impression, but she's definitely not a bad person. Otherwise, why would she have helped us? Maybe she has something urgent to do. Maybe uh, we'll see her again at the tournament. Yeah, we'll see her again. And when we do, let's give her some gifts to show her our gratitude. In the meantime, let's follow her example by doing our best in the tournament, helping other contestants, and making sure Layla gets to compete. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. I'll try my best to contribute, too. I don't want to be a burden to you guys. You helped Layla find three more shroom buddies to complete her set. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Now that we've put together Layla's team, she should be eligible to take part. Let's head back to the arena and confirm with them. Hmm. I, I was expecting them to have us find them, auto like, manually. So, now we just need to return to Port Ormos. Let Paimon see how the qualifying rounds are looking. <gasps> Great! We're in a different group from Layla, so we won't have to compete against each other in the early stages of the competition. What about Hania? Actually... I hope I don't have to fight you guys in the later stages, either. Oh? Hello there, little ones. Oh, it's Yainika. Wow. She's here in Sumeru. Sure enough, you're at the center of the action once again. You two truly are like the main characters in your own light novel. <laughs> Miko? What are you doing here? Is Paimon hallucinating? <laughs> This tournament was advertised far and wide, including all the way over in Inazuma. They even handed out flyers in front of Yai Publishing House. Don't you think a tournament like this makes a perfect candidate for light novel treatment? It does seem like a good place to find source material. There are lots of stories you could tell about this. Yai Publishing House is working on a bestseller that, if all goes to plan, will stay a bestseller for the next 50 years. The theme is friendship and rivalry, so we decided to bring our up-and-coming author, Soka, here to gather some inspiration. I, of course, need to ensure my writer's manuscripts are up to par. So, I will be taking part in the tournament myself to get a little taste of what it's like. Hmm. Here's my little partner in crime. Soka named it Blitzara. I think it's rather good. Very distinctive. <laughs> Who knew there'd be such a big turnout? Even Miko's here! Soka, come say hi to the little ones. They're set to be some of the fiercest competition you face in the tournament. You should put them in your novel as major characters. Yes, Chief Editor! For the sake of my readership, I won't back down. 
feet. Beat you. See you in the arena. Yeah, just because you're with Miku doesn't mean we'll go easy on you. Ooh, yes, more of that. Do you feel that, Soka? Declaring a challenge to your arch enemy in the making before the competition begins is a key plot device that helps build dramatic tension. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say I'm feeling that exactly. Just just thinking about competing against Her Excellency's Hanamizaka tour confidant is making me so nervous. I'm losing my my mind. Hmm. In that case, head back to the inn and capture your nervous breakdown in writing while it's still fresh. This will make excellent source material, too. She's terrifying, but she also seems really dedicated to her craft. I hope we can be friends. <laughs> and who is this softly spoken little lady? She's our new friend, Layla! We met her while we were out capturing fungi. Layla's entering the tournament because she wants to take her trained fungi back home to live with her. Her goal is to make it to the quarterfinals. Training fungi, and then domesticating them? How fascinating. You must be full of secrets. There's an intriguing story to be told here, no doubt. I'm Yai Miko, a light novel editor. Purely out of personal interest, and right now what I'm most interested in is you. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Uh, I... I have no idea how to respond to that. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, I really appreciate all your help, but I want to get to know my four shroom buddies a little better and prepare for the qualifiers, so I'll go do some training now. Bye. Don't push yourself too hard, Layla. You'll end up collapsing from exhaustion again. Miko, what are you doing scaring a new friend off like that? Oh. Am I really so terrifying? Well then, I'll simply have to talk to her again another time to clear things up. <laughs> but that can wait. Judging from your expression, it seems like you have something you want to say to me, little one. What are you really doing in Sumeru? Uh, what's going on behind the scenes of this tournament? I'm comforted to know that you didn't lose your heads amidst the hype. And you're not just in this to have some fun. Unfortunately, though... It appears that we're about to be interrupted. Oh? Guji Yahe, what an honor to finally meet you. We're so privileged that our tournament is your first destination in Sumeru. Huh? Isn't that the organizer? And that super rich businessman is here too. Goodness, I presume that the tournament is proceeding very smoothly indeed. Otherwise, how would the host and sponsor themselves have the time to spare to chat with contestants one on one? How you jest, Gujiyai! Those such as your esteemed self deserve nothing short of the most lavish reception Sumeru has to offer. Hmm. I see you've already had the chance to try out the Wisdom Orb. What are your thoughts on the future prospects of this technology? You know, with your blessing, it can be introduced into Inazuma, allowing you to swiftly resolve the situation of, um... Ahem. <clears throat> right now, I am nothing but an ordinary editor-in-chief. I'm here to enjoy my vacation and gather some inspiration along the way. And if I can at all help it, I'd rather not concern myself with such weighty topics as the future fate of nascent technologies. Don't be so pushy, Mr. Cautinia. Droning on about the Academia's business ambitions is hardly respectful to our honored guest, who has traveled all the way from the Land of Thunder to be here. Not to mention that Guji Yae is busy catching up with her friends. I dare say it was both unnecessary and discourteous to interrupt their conversation like this. A most pertinent remonstration coming from you, Mr. Elhingen. You do conduct yourself in such an unobtrusive manner, much as you have in your entire career, quietly amassing an enormous fortune while remaining almost entirely unknown. Elhingen, that is such an interesting name. Why, to hear such high praise from the great Guji Yai is more prestige than I could ever hope for. Please, should you require anything at all, do not hesitate to seek my assistance. I will do everything within my ability to make your stay in Sumeru an enjoyable one. Also, to have the renowned traveler here at the tournament is an unexpected delight. 
I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in action. Um, thank you. And there they go. So... Nico, they're here to do business with you, right? Should you really be turning them away like this? Especially the rich guy? Paimon thinks working with him could have a lot of advantages for Yai Publishing House. Promoting an entirely new event throughout all of Tevat so rapidly would be an impossible feat for any ordinary businessman. I, for one, do not wish for Yai Publishing House to be the subordinate partner in a business relationship with him. Besides, the tournament has only just begun. Who knows whether it will go on to be a success. I want to focus on trying to enjoy myself, while keeping one eye open for potential liabilities. Potential liabilities, so uh, you've noticed. Fungi may look adorable, but they carry potent elemental energy inside their bodies. Letting one's guard down around these creatures would be an unwise move, don't you think? Yeah. So it wasn't just us. Yeah, we started out with some safety concerns about this event, but the Wisdom Orb seems pretty amazing. At least all the fungi we used it on have been very well behaved, like our bongo head here. Seems we don't need to be too nervous after all. <laughs> Oh, Paimon, you're just as carefree and enthusiastic as ever. Well, it's about time for me to get into character. As a contestant, I need to go and get ready for the tournament. See you in the qualifiers. Blitzara, say goodbye to our friends. Uh, see ya. Coming here was a great idea! Look at us! Making new friends, bumping into Miko. Oh, this competition is shaping up to be a whole lot of fun! It'll be even more fun if more people show up from, like, you know, Mondstadt, Liyue. Come on! Let's go get some floral jelly for Bongo Head's training, like Hania suggested! Okay. Sure. Actually, there's something I want to check very fast. Uh, this right here. Let's see. So, prepare for the tournament, it says. When I click on that, what does it do? Uh, so I can click on those. Oh, I didn't mean to actually go away from that. Uh, R2, there we go. And then those. These two are still in progress. As for these, I'll have to do that eventually at some point. Okay. Ah, the champions to be here at long last. Come on now, use the floral jelly and awaken your fungi's true potential. Champions to be? <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. So you've heard about us too? Of course. Uh, I was standing right next to you when you collected your wisdom orb. I couldn't find a convenient opportunity to introduce myself, as Hania was busy explaining the tournament to you. With an expert mentor like Hania, I'm sure you'll become excellent beast tamers in no time. If even the staff are singing her praises, Hania must really know what she's doing. Well, all the more reason to give it our all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do we use these floral jelly things? During the course skating potential challenge, you must use floral jellies to uh, to form blends that your fungi enjoy. Once they have absorbed them, they will awaken their potential. You switch to exchange the positions of two adjacent floral jellies. Use rotate to shift the positions of four floral jellies once in a clockwise direction. Okay, so... Greetings, the two of you. Do you want to train your fungi, or are you looking for someone to answer your questions? Uh, we want to train fungi. Okay, make sure to use the floral jelly according to the instructions in the recipe. Hmm. So, I'll train Bongo Head here, a very intelligent fungus that you and Paimon met first, but have not yet really gotten to know. It is said that this species can be used as an emergency water source. So, let's cultivate. And to do this, we have to match up on the left there. We have to match up these jellies in the same way. Okay, so if I rotate them like that, rotate these like this, Rotate these like that. Switch these two. And then these two. Oh wait, I messed up. Okay, I've just got to switch all of the pink jellies to the bottom. There we go. 
That was a weird little mini game thing. So it's upgraded to number of eight moves. Huh. Can I do that again? Oh, I think I understand how this is supposed to work. So the less moves you use when you're like trying to do the jelly thing, uh, the better it is for you overall. I think, like, the better buff you get. So, if I do this, like that, I did it in three moves, right? Yeah. And I think that that was better overall, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, let's do the same thing with all of these. So, this one is next. Stormlord, a strong, tall fungus that has, shining, uh, has a shining feeler on its head that has proved exceedingly attractive to curious children. Uh, use copy to directly copy the color of selected floral jelly onto any other new floral jelly. Okay. Huh. Oh, I get it. So what I want to do, copy that onto that. There we go. And now, I have to figure out how to get blue over to here. And I think I have an idea for that. Uh, rotate these. Rotate these. There we go. And that was done in three. Cool. I wonder if three is the lowest you can get for each of these. Who knows? But now we're going on to Crasher Basher. A strong and tall fungus whose slender yet powerful body supports its powerful head, which it can wield like a heavy hammer. So let's cultivate. And this one is a little bit more complicated. There are two copy things here. Uh, so if I do this right, I should copy this one here. I should copy that one there. There we go. Rotate. Rotate again. Definitely not doing as good of a job this time. I'm gonna have to redo this, but it's not a big deal. The controls for this are a little bit confusing. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's rotate these like that. And I've just gotta rotate it two more times and then switch these two. There we go. Yeah, I could have definitely done a better job there. 13 moves, wow. Uh, so let's redo that one. Okay, copy onto that one, and then onto this one like that. And now switch these around like that. Switch these two. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why I didn't see that before. I wonder if four is the least number of moves for that. I, I, I guess I'll never know. Uh, so let's go on to Coolit now. Coolit, a fast and agile fungus, has the added benefit of sparing, uh, sparing its tamer from worrying about hot weather. Uh, so pre use preset to place the pre-existing formula directly onto a corresponding slot. Okay then. So I'm not entirely sure what that meant. Well, I guess the best way to find out would be just to look at that. Okay, I can place it anywhere. Okay, this is the spot that I would want to place it on. Switch those two around like that. Just gonna keep switching these over. Come on, I hate the controls for this so much. They don't, you don't think that they're bad until you actually play it. Slowly but surely, getting things done. There we go. Eight moves that time. I'm pretty sure that I can reduce that number. I'll try it again. I don't have the rotate option. If I had the rotate option, it'd be a lot easier. What happens if I do that? If I do that, and then this, just, there we go. That was three, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So now the only one that has four moves, or took four moves rather, was the uh, this one, Crasher Bashers, but that's fine. Let's see if I can claim any prizes so for that. Buddies should be able to fight at full power now. We still have some time before the qualifiers start. Maybe we should spend some more time training our fun guy. Hmm. Okay, let me see something though. Here we are. I can claim these prizes. Oh wow, I'm able to claim quite a few prizes. Neat. Okay, what about these? Ah, okay, so once I get those particular types of uh, fungi, 
I'll be able to claim those prizes. What about this? Oh, these are battles or whatever that you can participate in. That's cool. Uh, so now, where does it want me to go? Okay, over here. I wonder, can I teleport directly there? Yes, I can. In the fabulous Fungus Frenzy gameplay mode, your elemental skill will be changed to the Focus Attack Command, which can command all the fungi in your team to attack a single target. Click on the corresponding button or avatar and select the fungus to unleash its skill, which is a powerful ability that can help take control of the battle. Each of your fungi can only use its skill a limited number of times. Pick up plaudatory protections that appear during the battle to increase the number of uses their skills have. Plaudatory protections ha can only exist for a limited duration of time. Make sure to pick them up in time. During coordinated assaults, you can you must command your fungus uh, fungi to destroy three zones held by your opponents. The less time you take to defeat these opponents and the fewer fungi you lose in the process, the higher your battle score will be. During the zone defense challenge, you must command your fungi to defend a leyline monolith. The less damage the monolith has taken and the fewer fungi you lose by the time the challenge ends, the higher your battle score will be. Okay. So... Obviously, I okay, it says I need to wait till the next morning, 8 to 10, but this is obviously the thing that I'm allowed to uh, interact with, right? It'll allow me to, like, train my fungi, so to speak. Yeah, coordinated assault through the battlefront. Uh, enemies in the domain are constructing a line of defense around their powerful leader, perhaps using tough fungi to spearhead targeted attacks on vital areas of the enemy front would be a worthwhile tactic. What's this about? Okay, so there are two different types. There's zone defense and there's coordinated assault. So I'll start off with the coordinated assault. Uh, start special training. Start the special training and the opponent details are Geoslime and Hilly Charles, basically. So uh, I'm going to go with these four because they're the only ones that I have. And now, uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and have them do whatever, right? Okay, like that. So they're doing the fights for me. That's pretty neat. And I guess I can do stuff as well. Huh. Oh, I can actually attack by doing this. I think. You know, I wasn't really paying attention what... Uh, to what the thing said. You know, the rules or whatever. Uh, oh. There we go. There we go. Maybe I can... Maybe that tells them who to focus their attacks on. Like, hey, focus on that one or whatever, right? Yeah, I think that's what it is. So all I'm doing is just uh, directing them on who to uh, target specifically. Uh, oh, may as well grab that. And there we go, heading to the next zone, it says. I don't know if I did good or bad, <laughs> but I suppose we'll find out. So uh, let's go ahead and confirm the line, line up there. Uh, Obviously, I should get rid of the big guy there first, uh, just because. Cool. They managed to freeze him. And... Darn it. He still... Ha okay, good. He doesn't have a shield anymore. Come on. Where's another one of those? Thank you. Darn. Okay, the limit for skills has been reached, it says. I can't attack myself, so I just have to wait for them to do stuff. You know what? I should have told them to attack that one. Oh wait, that's not an enemy. Duh. Oh. 
There you go. There we go. It's so weird. I don't know what to think about this. I was expecting something a little bit more, uh, how do I put it? Like, turn-based? And instead, it feels more, uh, open than I was expecting. Oh. Yeah, for sure, I want to target that guy. Okay, you. I didn't. I don't know. Seems kind of dangerous. Uh, I'll wait a second to use their abilities. I think that. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna wait a second. Where is it? Oh, all the way over there. I'm out of stamina. Let's do that. Darn. I was hoping that that would freeze him. Okay, good. He is getting frozen. Where's some more of those things? There they are. So... I suppose I could do that again. And then this. Deal a little bit more damage. There we go. Uh, so I wonder if that's good or not. We'll find out. Okay, so I can claim the prizes for this. And I did manage to get enough for all of those, which is nice. Um, and that's just the first out of all of those matches. Very, very interesting. Uh, I'll go ahead and initiate the next part, but first things first, let me... Oh, there we go. I can select the championship pro progress right there. Okay, it's telling me who my first, uh, opponent is. And I wonder, if you lose, can... Can it, like, can you restart? Or is that just it? That's the end. Who knows? We'll find out eventually. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and do the second match. Or the second, you know challenge here. Capture six fungi and awaken their potential to unlock. Oh, I can't uh, unlock any more of these until I do that. Okay. So I can move on to this one, though, the zone defense. Uh, but the same, it's the same for all these over here otherwise. So let's do the zone defense precise firepower. Multiple types of hilly turtle archers are attacking from different positions to destroy our monolith. Move swift, swiftly around the domain and quickly dispatch enemies at every position to protect the target in the special training. Let's start. Okay, so of course I'm going to be choosing my uh, same ones because they're the only ones I have access to right now. Confirm the lineup. And the idea is to protect something. So, obviously, I should tell them to, uh... You know, rip into these. Come on. Uh, no, I'm gonna use Crasher Basher's ability. Yeah, Crasher Basher is pretty good. I ought to use his ability more often. Uh, darn it. There we go. Here, Crasher Basher. Wow. Did he just decimate that entire group? Uh, I'll wait for Crasher Basher to move again. Uh, wait a second. There we go. Yeah, he basically devastated them. Okay. Let's, uh, do that. And then this. Wow. Yeah, I think Crasher Basher is the best one out of all of them. And that was a really simple one. Way more simple than I expected it to be. Here we are. They have to make the menu navigation so confusing. Um, so what's this fungi? Okay, that's what this is. 
So I need to start capturing some of these other ones. And I don't know exactly where they want you to capture them. But uh, I'll definitely try to figure that out. Uh, now there's one more thing I'm going to do before I stop. Which is, look at this. What can I claim here? I can claim this. Uh, it's a furnishing for the... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, this right here, though, is the most important thing. But I can't claim that with the uh, same kind of, you know, tokens as these. Like, you know, two different types of uh, currency being used. So I'll claim everything I can from this for now. There we go. That's as much as I can claim. And I'll wait until I can claim that uh, Crown of Insight before uh, doing anything else there. So, uh, yeah, this is an interesting event so far. It's a shame that I started so late. I hope I can finish everything in time. Uh, obviously, I need to get some more of the fungi um, in order to be able to access more of the, you know, challenges here. Uh, you know, the training ground challenges. I'm not sure where they want me to go for the uh, capturing fungi. Maybe there are designated spots on the map. Then again, maybe I can just capture them anywhere. Uh, we'll see, though. I'll, I'll probably look it up between this video and the next one. So, uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching, and the next time I play, I'll be, uh, you know, doing some more of this quest. See you next time. Bye-bye.